Welcome to Rotary and Serving Our Community. My name is Wade Nomura and today we're going to take a look at a project being done in Nicaragua. Outstanding project there, uh, also done in conjunction with GoCare. And with me today I have two guests. We have Jane McClanahan and Michelle Chekhov. Welcome. Thank you. Michelle, we're going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a self-employed bookkeeper out of Ventura, California, and uh, I'm also the president and CEO of GoCare. I am a member of the Rotary Club of Ventura East. Great. And Jane? And I'm a uh, past district governor of Rotary, years 07, 08. I'm one of the very first women Rotarians. Um, I am a retired director of a museum and um, a director on a Go Care board. Great, great, outstanding. Michelle, tell us how you got involved with Go Care. Well, I got involved with GoCare back in 2001. Uh, my father, Jan Lindsay, was the founding member of GoCare along with the Rotary Club of Ventura East. They uh, were doing projects down in Nicaragua and a lot of Rotary projects you go down, you put in water wells, you give something and then you leave and they wanted to do a project that was a little more substantial and uh, work in a preschool down there. And we needed staff and supplies and all of that. So GoCare was founded as a cooperating organization to Rotary to do projects for the Rotary Club of Venture East. Great. So it was actually created with the projects of Rotary in, in mind at that time. Always. Outstanding. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. What is the long-term mission of this project and what you're looking for to, I would say, accomplish from that project? Well, we believe that we can eliminate poverty through education. And so we work in very impoverished communities offering educational opportunities so that uh, our students can find employment. Right. Now, does GoCare reach uh, beyond, say, Nicaragua, or is that right now your primary focus? Well, we've been in Nicaragua uh, for 15 years. Wow. And uh, prior to that, I, we've been in Mexico and in Honduras. But right now, we're only in Nicaragua. In Nicaragua. How many times do you actually travel down to Nicaragua to take a look at those projects? I'm down there, my goal is to get down there at least four times a year. Wow, okay, mm -hmm. outstanding. How about you, Jane? How did you get involved with GoCare? Well, Jan Lindsay is one of my very best Rotarian friends, and he invited me down there when they were doing um, a youth leadership conference down there. And I went down and um, was so impressed that I'm, I'm a Go care person. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So what you saw there definitely impressed you. Yes. Okay. Just it's an amazing project. Good. Good. When you got there, were there expectations that you had in mind of what you would see, uh, how the conditions were before or after? Well, I had expectations, but of we were going to an impoverished area. And what I think is an impoverished area and what is an impoverished area in Nicaragua were light years apart from each other. And it was very impactful for me. And I knew with Rotary's help and the things that I could do with Rotary that we could help in that area. True. Now, one thing I noticed working in, in that area, uh, mostly in Honduras area, is that the landscape is so lush because it's a tropical area. So it seems uh, kind of contradictory with the living conditions that you actually have versus the landscape being so green and lush. Did you notice that part of it? Did you see that? Well, they, they live in the landscape. Yeah. That's, a, that's, <laughs> that's it. That the, the places in their homes, they live outdoors a lot because the weather is pretty nice, in, in, at least in Managua in the area where we've been. So um, they have a lot of respect for their living area. And True. And so that it's it's interesting to see for us that who live in nice house, uh, houses and <laughs> true <laughs> things like yeah. that. Yeah. That is true, uh, Michelle. When you got involved with GoCare, was that something that you had planned to do in your lifetime, or something that was kind of originally no? <laughs> originally no. My father um, got me involved, and I was the treasurer for a number of years, and I would see everything from the U.S. side of things. So. Uh, everybody's receipts and I knew the projects that were going on but I didn't get down there until 2006 and when I saw the kids that were benefiting from the programs and the some of some adults uh, it was just 
I, I was locked in from that point. Good. So it was something you did not expect to see or, or feel. Ex exactly. No expectations when you got there. Exactly. Wow. Okay. Well, that's, that's great. What is um, probably one of the main points or features that you saw in GoCare with this project specific that made you decide that this is what you want to keep doing? Well, I like the idea that um, GoCare is there for the long haul and um, we can work and partner with many Rotary Clubs um, to do all kinds of projects down there. And we're in communities and we know the people and because we're working with them every day. And so uh, we're, we focus on the education and it's nice to bring in Rotary Clubs to work on the sanitation or the health or uh, economic de development, that type of thing. As, and uh, it, it's just that partnership that we can have and work together. Pretty, pretty much the common goal then of both organizations, sounds, sounds mm -hmm. like. Great. And Jane, how about you? What, what expectations did you have? I know you came into GoCare a little bit later. Well, actually, what we, just, I, we just got back a couple of weeks ago from being down okay. there, and I've been going down there for maybe the last six years, and um, we've seen the young people come in in maybe junior high or beginning high school year, go to the school, go to the learning center, um, work come back to give back to um, work with the children themselves, the students that are there. And now we've seen them graduated from the university, these same kids that would have not gotten an education at all. We see them as, like I say, I'm old because they're babies, and now they're young adults. And, and to see their progression and that we definitely had changed their lives. True. Well, 15 yeah. years uh, in a project like that, I yeah. mean, that's the next generation now that we're talking about seeing the yeah. results yeah. of. Yeah. So that's outstanding. Let's take a look at some of the slides. I know you brought with us a, a few slides that you have. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like the first slide, I believe, are before and after pictures, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. The first slide that you're going to see is uh, in the community of Quahichio Dos. And we're working with the Managua Rotary Club as well mm -hmm. as Ventura East on a global grant that's uh, putting all the furnitures and fixtures inside the buildings. And then GoCare is doing the refurbishing work uh, to bring them to a state where we can use them. And we have a partnership with the government to use the buildings as long as we provide free access to adult education. So GoCare actually becomes the partner then for the structures itself since the foundation won't fund that part of it. Is that yes. the reason for that? Exactly. Great. And then we run the programs and do all the monitoring of the programs afterwards. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And then the next picture you have. Oh, the second picture. That's actually, I think, might be a little bit out of order. This is our community center in Pontsonal when we were building it. And this was on a piece of land that the government of... Uh, Nicaragua let us use same thing as long as we offer adult ed <laughs> we can uh, use the land free oh, nice. so um, the third picture this is during our construction at Quahichio Dos this is uh, during the refurbishment process where of the learning center very nice looks like they did a great job of getting it started <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah good and then the next picture Oh, this is, uh, <laughs> these are the washrooms. Okay. Uh, the, there's a lot, there's a school there with a number of students on the same property where the learning center is. And they just had an outhouse for the services there. And so we were able to put in the bathrooms. Very nice. Next picture you have shows a, a workforce. This is a workforce mm -hmm. doing refurbishment work. This was, is the second phase of the grant, actually. This is on the property of La Union, mm -hmm. and uh, this one we're refurbishing as well. This will be our second learning center as part of the global grant. Ups and then, outstanding. And then the, the, picture, the next picture is of uh, Quahichio Dos, um, right at the end of the construction refurbishment work. Very nice. Mm -hmm. it looks like you guys did a great job of that. Okay. Now, is that work actually contracted um, by Rotarians? Is it the volunteer staff, or is it paid for by Im workers from down there in the area? Okay, the refurbishment work, we always like to use local workers to give back to the community and, and give employment to the members of the community. So GoCare paid for this uh, refurbishment work as part of our budget for the year. Okay, good. 
And we have one more picture showing uh, another finished product, I believe, of one the, of the other. Yeah, this one's almost finished. This is at La Union also, and uh, this is this is finished now, but this picture was right at the end of the project, <laughs> okay. yeah. Okay, good. Next picture you have, uh, it's a garden picture. Oh, Jane has a good story to go Jane. along with this one. <laughs> this, this is Nefer, okay. and um, right now, she was very, in this picture, she is very young. This was 15 years ago. Wow. And the way this whole project kind of came about was that she was out of hope and three of her other friends didn't know what to do about it. So they went to the Catholic priest there and said, Father, what can we do? We want our children to have better lives than what we have. And so the priest told them, well, the Rotary Club of Granada is going to be meeting. Why don't you go to the Rotary Club of Granada's meeting? And it just so happens that Jan Lindsay and four or five other Rotarians happened to say, let's go to that meeting. And so let's go to the meeting. And they didn't know that these women were going to be there. And after they heard Nefer's story, um, Jan and the meeting's over and Jan walks out and he goes, we have to do something about this. Mm -hmm. And he changed all our lives with that statement. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yes. wow. And, and Nefer, Nefer um, came back, we were down there two years ago and we were celebrating Mother's Day and in Nicaragua they celebrate ne Mother's Day for a week. And so we had this big dinner for all the women that work in Go Care. At that dinner, Nefer said, look at me, look at my hair, look at my makeup, and look at my outfit. And she said, my hair was done by the women in the beauty cosmetology class. My makeup was done by, by the, 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 in the beauty class. And my dress was made by the people, the women in the sewing class. And she said to Jan, and she said, Jan, you've given us hope. We had no hope, and now we know that we can change. Wow, that's Which outstanding. Which makes us keep going all yeah, the time. Yeah, so those programs, I assume, were actually part of the Go Care process then? Yeah. Yes, this is the, that's, nice. what, that's the nice. adult education class. Wow, okay, yeah. outstanding. My next picture shows a, a workforce team, I believe. Well, these are actually, this is one of Go Care's programs, mm -hmm. and it was uh, started by a Rotarian. So they took the RILA program, oh. and they adapted it for Nicaragua, and it's, the, we call it uh, ALJ and it's our leadership program based on RILA, adapted for Nicaragua, and we take 80 kids each year to up into the mountains and uh, do this program. Nice. Uh, at this, this is one of the ones that I, what got me down there, but at this particular spot, we we're in the mountains, and most of these children never leave their community. And our problem when we were there is that the kids were cold. They have never been cold <laughs> in their entire life. So we're going through all our luggage and pulling out all our sweatshirts and t-shirts and everything to, to get the kids warm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess and that they've would never be the been case. cold, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah. And then the picture after that is just uh, showing the kids and, and some of the Rotarians that came to to the program. Rotarians have been our speakers at the program. Um, that we do the leadership building activities. Uh, it's really amazing and the kids come back and they just say they've ch they're changed and we kind of challenge them to go back and be leaders in their community. So uh, how many uh, attendees do you usually have at these camps? We uh, try for 80 students 80. each okay. year and then we bring back the counselors mm -hmm. that were um, attendees from prior years and so we usually have about 10 to 15 of those. And Go Care funds the, uh, the camp itself? Uh, we fund most of it. We have been uh, having rot Rotary sponsored students who uh, sponsor kids to come mm -hmm. as well as other NGOs in Nicaragua. They'll sponsor kids like from the orphanage to come and that type of thing. Very nice. So they never get, they never have this kind of opportunity and they're True. Some of the kids uh, are amazed that they get three meals a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would be true. Now, how about the local Rotary Clubs down there? Do they also participate in this? Those are where many of our speakers come from, okay. from the Rotary Club of Managua and the Rotary Club of Granada. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Next picture we have uh, of a classroom, younger age group it looks like. Preschool. Yeah, <laughs> this was our uh, a preschool. Um, it's no longer in operation, but we are uh, planning on 
building a preschool at the new facility. And these kids, uh, these are probably one of our first groups of students that attended the classes. And it's been an amazing program. And this offers an opportunity for the moms to go out and work without having the older kids have to stay home and watch the kids. The illiteracy rate, I mean, 75% of the population isn't going past the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. So we're giving them a foundation in education, but also helping the older kids not have the burden of watching their younger siblings. Right, right. Now also in this program, did you include nutrition, uh, oh, yeah. meals, things like that? Yes, well the Ministry of Education stepped in. We partner with them on many of our projects and they actually, once we became a legal uh, preschool, they provide the food oh. on the premises. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then the parents come in and do the cooking for it. Perfect. So it is. It actually becomes government subsidized in that portion of the program. That part, yes, oh, that, that's great because then you have that that extra partnership that created right. with that. Next picture we have. Uh, oh, this your is your folks. <laughs> yeah, the, my mom and dad and uh, the preschool teacher. Uh, this is in the early days uh, when Go Care first started, and the um, partnership with the Rotary Club of Ventura East. They used to do a Christmas program each year, and as well as bring supplies to the preschool, and this is just one of those programs in the very early days. <laughs> Outstanding. Now, uh, one thing I should point out to the audience, and that is that Jan Lindsay actually was uh, one of only two uh, foundation cadres, uh, Rotary Foundation cadres, or technical advisor volunteers mm -hmm. uh, within okay. our district, so uh, pretty amazing. I mean, oh, yeah. he had a lot of experience in that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Next picture. We have a picture, it looks like a... Oh, that's one of the classes. <laughs> yeah, it looks that way. Well, Go Care does all kinds of programs. Um, we do programs for the preschool, preschool age, um, elementary age kids, junior high, high school, and then there's the university scholarships. But then there's some people that aren't going to go on to university, and we offer vocational scholarships. And this is one of the vocational programs that we do in Nicaragua. So we give vocational scholarships to baking, or sewing, or beauty. Uh, we've done welding and electrical courses. And this is a baking group from a couple of years ago. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, do you also include with that or have the availability of actually having job placement come through this program also? We have uh, worked on that. And it, it's difficult because it's kind of who you know. But uh, our sewing students, for example, uh, we give them a sewing machine at the end of the program. And I'd say 90% of them have started their own business out of their home doing sewing services for people. Uh, same with the baking group. Some of them are doing baking out of their homes and then built baking stuff for the local hotels. Okay. So uh, the job placement or the internships, we have worked on that, but also they're creating their own that's jobs, good. Yeah, oh, their own great. businesses. Good for them. Next picture you have shows a, a group, mm -hmm. a discussion group it looks like. Well, do you want to talk about how when we go into a community this chain? Is, this, is, um, this is a rotary group here. Okay. And it's um, Rotarians from La Union, and I think you can even see Rotarians from up here, from the United mm -hmm. States. And we're talking about the beginning phases of starting this um, grant, this global grant, the first global grant. And, and this global grant is in three phases. And we finish phase one, almost finishing phase two. And then phase three is going to be a construction of the whole building. And um, Michelle will probably tell you more about that. But this is one of the very first starting meetings about what are we going to do and what's best for you. We want to work with the people, the Nicaraguans, and to make sure that they have a real buy-in with the project. So and it's kind of a and need, needs do. assessment meeting needs yes. and planning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, plan, and planning meeting and, um, and, the, and what they need and what they anticipate and what, what groups of people we should work with for the education. Right. Now you said there's three phases. Let's, let's hear what the three phases the, actually are. Do you want to take that one? Yeah. Oh, Is of the good? global grant? Well, the global grant was so large, it was over $219,000. And of course, Rotary doesn't want to give all that money out at once. <laughs> so uh, we broke it up into three phases. And one of the phases in, is the community of Coahuichi Dos, where we finished. Uh, the second is La Union. And that one just finished 
we finished our part, we're waiting on Rotary for the, their part. And then the third phase, uh, we bought property in Nicaragua last year to help make our programs in Nicaragua more sustainable. Uh, we do, uh, all of our locations right now are agreements with the government where we provide adult education in lieu of paying rent for the facilities, or we've done refurbishment in lieu of paying rent. And, but the caveat is that we can't charge for our services. So last year we bought property. We're building a GoCare learning campus in Nicaragua. And at that facility we'll have preschool vocational classes, uh, English classes, computer labs, uh, library and uh, administrative offices. And we'll be able to charge for some of our services on a sliding scale for the families that can afford it. Great. So when you say phase one, two, and three, it's actually geographic then? It's Geographical replicating locations. the same model. Mm -hmm. Yes, we all of our models are the same. We are, Some facilities are larger than the other, and some are smaller, so we adapt it. But there's always a computer lab. There's always an English classroom, a library, uh, with all of the local books that the schools in the community are using so that the students have that for their homework and whatnot. Great. Next picture we have is a picture of a classroom. Looks like it's uh, well furnished, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so this is in Quajachillo. Uh, we're, uh, this is a finished classroom and we're showing the things that were purchased by the Rotary Grant, which are the fans and the whiteboards. Uh, uh, and this is actually being used by the school right now because oh, we good. have an extra room and so they've moved their desks into the classroom. Okay, good. And then the next picture. This is an adult education program uh, in the community center in Pontanol. And this is just showing uh, a group of our students that come in on the weekends. We wow. start as uh, just the basic of teaching them to read some of these adults that because they didn't finish the sixth grade, they really need this education so that they can operate their businesses. They're learning Spanish and math and GoCare, uh, through a partnership with the Ministry of Education, can actually give uh, high school diplomas to the graduates. No, oh, that's outstanding. Looks like you have a good turnout there. It's gotta be 30 people, 40 people in there. It looks like a large class, <laughs> yes. <laughs> good job, very outstanding. Uh, the next picture we see is of a, it's an outdoor classroom there. This one's an outdoor classroom. Uh, some of our students, after they went to the Leadership Academy, they came to us and they asked if they could do a project with us. And what they wanted to do is they wanted to offer after-school help to their students, to our students in the community. So this is a mentoring program where the older kids in the, that have scholarships have come back and they help the kids after school. Wow, <laughs> that's paying back. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Next picture we have uh, shows a library, I believe. Library? Mm -hmm. Yes. This, the first picture is the library in Pontanol. Okay. And this is our existing library. This is probably about 15 years old in this picture. <laughs> so they really do take really good care of what we're doing down there. And then the, the following picture is the all of the books that were purchased uh, in with funds from the Global Grant in the new community in Quajachillo and we have all of the books that are being used in the local schools as well as some uh, fun reading. Okay, great. Then a picture um, following that one has a, a Rotary logo, brand new. It's gotta be <laughs> one of the newer, new one. <laughs> newer builds. Yes, this is in Quajachillo. This was our grand opening in December. We had over 300 community members come uh -huh. and uh, it was a really exciting event. And the last picture you have here. The last picture is our community center in Pontanol uh, that was built in 2006. And this looks like it's a group of our university kids. And we do the university scholarships for the students so that they uh, can get, have a career. Now, the university students, where are they coming from? Are they actually students of yours or do they come in and assist? Uh, these are university students that are GoCare students. Wow. So we've started a university prepara preparation course about three years ago, and it's kind of like an SAT course. We uh, give the students what they need to pass the entrance exam. University is free in Nicaragua if you can pass that exam. Wow. And then we give transportation, books, supply scholarships. 
my question would be then, um, with all of these three great phases, what is the number of uh, people you're actually reaching out to? Do you have any idea? Yes, uh, we have over 4,500 graduates from our program so far, and we've served over 15,000 students. This year, we're on course to help 1,650 kids with the new locations that Rotary has helped us get online. And that, that is outstanding. Uh, that's definitely making a huge impact mm -hmm. in, in the Nicaragua area. How do you see GoCare um, expanding out? Is it going to be a, a partnership with the people in Nicaragua, with the government, or do you see Nic uh, Nicaragua and GoCare, the actual GoCare organization, expanding? I think we're going to keep doing what we do and partner when we need to partner with either the Ministry of Education or Inatech, which is the technical certificate you can receive in Nicaragua. Um, I don't know how far we can grow. I think we, I think we need a break when we finish this global <laughs> grant for a little bit. <laughs> it sounds like you have an outstanding model. I don't know if uh, Rotary's gonna let you have that break. <laughs> yeah. Well, one, one of the things we can go, there's plenty of areas in Nicaragua where we can That's build these learning centers. Each one of these learning centers has a big tower so that they can get the computers running that uh, Rotary purchases for the computer classroom, which is a huge program down there. They, the, you really, when you get that computer down and you're learning to speak English, you're on to a very high paying job. And mm -hmm. these people that are, when we say impoverished, it's extreme impoverished yeah. people. Very and true. we're, all these children and young adults that we have worked with, their lives are changing. Have you considered the model actually being replicated in, for example, Honduras? Because it's very similar. I mean, literally, we're talking one mm -hmm. mountain range apart. We, uh, we, we went, when we went into Honduras, we did try it. We didn't do it the same way. We started in Pontanol, though, because the, there was a relationship mm -hmm. already built with the Rotarians in a community. And uh, I find if we start with the community and build, you have to get their trust, and they have to believe in you. And uh, True. we could do it. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'd like to get back in Mexico, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, sounds good. Well, thank you both very much for sharing uh, GoCare and GoCare's vision, uh, that of Jan Lindsay's and what you're doing in Nicaragua. Outstanding. And I think thank it's going to be a, a model definitely that's worth replicating around the world. So, so with that, thank, thank you very much. Thank and you. thank you everybody for joining in. I hope you enjoyed the show. Take a look at it. It's GoCare. GoCare is one of the uh, organizations that work in conjunction with Rotary, changing lives around the world. With that, thank you. We will see you next time. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> oh, okay.